Welcome back to Icon the Internet. Okay, so tonight Max is vid by Atoshi and it's called Streamer Facing Three Years Prison for His Actions in Japan. What does this nigga do in Japan? Don't tell me you pulled a Logan Paul or some shit. Well, regardless, one way to find regardless there's only one way to find out. So without further ado, about to get into his reaction. Three years there, ref. The streamer that we're talking about today just found out his own actions actually have consequences. He went viral a couple months back when he flew out to Japan to essentially just disrespect the culture and the people of the country for attention on his stream. It was clear from the start that this wow. guy was just so desperate for attention that he was going to self-destruct by either getting in trouble with the law or getting hurt. And the latter quickly happened because he was punched in the face multiple times in the street after he repeatedly did the disrespectful actions. Then, of course, he had the police called on him multiple times. He had various bikers pull up on him and even a YouTube group of Japanese influencers. I'm very unsure on what actually happened there because there were some rumors that some of those guys were associated to the Yakuza somehow. But either way, someone scared him enough to make an apology and flee Japan. And from there on out, it seemed like the situation was over. Maybe he actually learned his lesson. But if he did, I wouldn't be making this video because as soon as he got away from Japan, he instantly started dissing Japan and the Japanese people over and over again on his streams. Essentially, he was really? just proving to the world that he was a coward and he would still do anything for attention. But I guess as all the hate he received calmed down, he assumed it was safe for him to return to Japan and continue his antics. And now it seems like he severely regrets that decision because as soon as he showed up, there were multiple videos of him being punched by random people. But on his last stream in Japan, he opened it claiming he was being by the police. Hi, it's a little bit late. Thank you. I'm being. That's why I started the live stream because I am currently being. What a clown. As you can see behind me, look, look, look. I'm being. <laughs> Things people would do for attention. Look at this clown. By the police. Back. Hi, it's a little bit late. What? <laughs> I just want to see. I just need the ghost face, bro. The things people do for attention, bro. Right? We had we had a girl fucking smashing a TV at Walmart, and we had this guy just going to Japan and just making absolute ass at himself. Clown, clown. Anyways, let me continue. I'm being. That's why I started the live stream because I am currently being. As you can see behind me, look, look, look. I'm being. <laughs> but as the stream went on and the police continued to follow him, he started testing it a bit. I've been getting followed for like. Meet Displate Lumino, the new generation of. I literally started the stream. Look at the timer on the stream. It's three minutes. Leg it. Just run. You can't just run. Walk. Should I walk backwards, guys? Should I walk backwards? Yo, he just followed me. Walk backwards? Walk backwards. Look, he stopped. Look, he stopped. He stopped. Just... <laughs> Yo, what the... So it seems like the officer is just following him and waiting for backup. But every time he went around a corner, he was hoping the cop was going to stop following him. Let's see, is he going to keep following me? <laughs> Yo, what the... What's going on? He's been following me since the live started. Clearly, his wish was not granted, so he switched up his tactic and tried to talk to the officer. Hello? Hello? <sighs> so stupid. Hello, sir? Hello? 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 I just let him know I can see him. <laughs> Yo, this is... Follow him. I'll try to follow him. Try to follow him. I'm gonna stop, then he stops. You can't make this... At this point, I would assume that he's probably recognized that he's messed up severely, but if he didn't, then he will now because backup arrived. And he's still outside right here. Oh, whoa. Oh. Backup. <laughs> Get him. What's up, you guys? What's up? What's up? What's going on? What is going on? Oh, my God. Huh? Uh, what is the bag for? 
What is that for? Even for this place. I'll send him on the what? Oh, my passport? Six, 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 six. You want to check what? Six, six. From what I've read about this, they didn't arrest him earlier because they were compiling evidence against him. And this guy was just dumb enough to F around in Japan for almost another month after returning. This is textbook definition of F around and find out. But the police had him empty mm. all of his belongings into a bag. And it seems like he realized he was cooked when they wouldn't give him his phone back. <laughs> Uh, Gun the rest, son. You can't hold my phone hostage until I give you my number. Uh, telephone number, please. Telephone number? Uh, no. You want my you want my Japanese number? Mm. Okay. Yes. Zero. Zero. You want my Japanese number? Japanese number. No number. Uh, let me see. It's on this phone. It's on this phone. Such an idiot. You can't hold my phone. Can I have my phone, please? Uh, I need to look. My number. And then the detectives show up. You're a detective. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm a detective. I'm going to call Joe Biden. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to call the Joe Biden. Oh, no. That You're not in America, son, mate. Please listen to me. Bro. Joe Biden? Cage Cullen. Who? Cage Cullen. Who these guys? Who sent these guys? Kishida? Kishida sent these guys? Bruh. Yo, somebody call Joe Biden. Somebody call the U.S. Embassy right now. Please, please. Be quiet. Dude went from having like one officer to 12 police officers real quick. But then they put someone on the phone who actually spoke English to him. What's that? Are you a translator? So it was hard to hear what the warrant was for, so here's what the Japanese media are currently saying. Johnny Somali, whose real name is Ismail Ramzi Khalid, is suspected for trespassing on a hotel construction site in Osaka on August 30th. The 23-year-old suspect is believed to have been filming his actions and streaming the footage online. The intruder was masked, but police identified him from the online footage, as well as images captured by security cameras. Officers arrested him on Thursday in the city's Dantonbori area. The suspect is known for have repeatedly made mocking remarks Remarks about the atomic bomb cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. He also engaged in other offensive acts across Japan and broadcast these actions online. Since last month, he's also repeatedly been spotted making videos at bars and restaurants in Osaka without permission. Police are currently looking into his actions. But continuing with the arrest footage, idiot. they ripped his camera away from him. <laughs> And then the realization of what's actually the, happening. This is why you can't act the fool abroad. <laughs> because you don't know what what the laws are like abroad. <laughs> abroad. How how do you know the prisons that are not more harsher than the ones in your own on your own home turf? Bro. You play stupid games with super prizes. Bro. How, people are so brazen these days. I can't. They kicked in. He started panicking. Can you freeze them up? Freeze them up. So, lawyer, can I speak to the embassy? But somebody call the embassy. Mods, call the embassy. Mods, call the embassy. Call the embassy, guys. Mods, call the embassy. Call the embassy, Mods. The stream then ended with Japanese police trying to figure out how to turn off the stream. <laughs> So it's safe to say this man cooked himself, but to give an example of how cooked this man currently is, Japan has a 99.8% conviction rate. The high rate is apparently due to prosecutors oh, only pursuing cases they are confident they can win, which is most likely why it took so long for them to arrest him. But then this absolute moron decided to return to Japan, F around and break the law while streaming it for the entire world to see. So how dumb. dumb can you be? I guess he was just dumb enough to think that nothing would ever happen because he did it for an entire month a while back. So I guess that just secures him a spot in the Hall of Fame of Morons. And to make things even worse for him, the Japanese penal code states that trespassing on another person's property is punishable by up to three years in prison or a fine up to 100,000 yen. Trespassing includes Damn. illegally entering a residence, building, or ship. Then to add on top of that, he was not cooperating with the police. They might throw an indecent exposure charge in there as well for a part that I couldn't show on this video for obvious reasons. Then to make things even even worse, under Japanese law, suspects can be detained for up to 23 days without a charge. You're not able to request bail during this period. So most likely, he's going to overstay his visa and get penalized for that as well. This moron has no one to blame but himself, but it's going to be interesting to see what happens in this case. Damn. 
play stupid games with surprises. <laughs> this guy was fucking around too much. Nigga fucked around too much and found out. Such an idiot. <laughs> I didn't know that. Up to three years for trespassing. Bruh. I didn't know that. Yeah, they don't play around it. Nigga plays stupid games and he, and he won a stupid prize. Way to go, dude. Dude, you're now in prison. Idiot. <laughs> Anyway, let's jump right into comments and see what open was saying right now. Someone commented, as a foreigner living in Japan for nearly 20 years, I'm quite pleased to see him get his comeuppance. <laughs> yeah, the fact, obviously, you were, you were dumb enough to film yourself trespassing and all this other shit. What did you think was going to happen? And then you came back after doing something, filming yourself back again after doing, doing this fuck shit? Bro, you got what you got. So stupid. <laughs> Now I'd, I'd laugh when when the rest when the rest of the police show up. <laughs> Nigga. Anyways, someone commented, it's funny because he's talking to the police as if he was in America uh, with with all his rights protected absolute gold. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then he started freaking out. I was like, yeah, now it dawns on you. Now I see on the cake was when they had the camera trying to try to figure out to turn the thing off. <laughs> So that bit was funny to me. The whole situation's not funny, but that bit was a highlight. Someone called it, being in prison sounds terrifying. Being in prison and not knowing what anyone is saying sounds like a like a three-year panic attack. <laughs> you got that, right? You're not wrong about that. And you don't know what the prison conditions are like there. You don't even know what the prison conditions are like in your own home turf, even. Bro, damn. So Someone commented, uh, I was in the military in, J in Japan. Japanese prisons are no joke. You uh, you have a process you uh, you have to follow every hour and every minute of the day. You can't just lie around in your cell or do whatever you want. Uh, if he's convicted for uh, for any amount of time, it will break him mentally. Bro, bro, this shit is brutal. That is bad. Yeah, someone commented, and the, and this comment so good. Uh, do not mistake Japan's politeness and kindness for weakness. Yes. <laughs> Yes, do, do not mistake it. He mistaken it. He fucked around. He found out, and now, and now he, now he's looking at three years in the slammer, the Japanese slammer. L let's hope he learns his lesson and thinks about his behavior after this, because I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy. But yeah, karma, karma got you now, and yeah, there's no, there's nothing else to say. But yeah, I'ma head out. What a mess. What, what foolishness. Okay, that's it for this video. Like, subscribe if you want. I post if whenever I feel like it and I'll see you next one. Bye.